last two tips, you've heard all about how to open your introduction, the first two lines actually, that will grab people's attention because it's asking a compelling question and then giving a specific benefit of what they're about to receive. In the third line of the introduction, you can now introduce some information about yourself, however, in a way that talks about benefits that you've provided to other people like the individuals in your audience. Okay, that's a mouthful. What does that mean? Let's assume for a moment that I am talking to a group of sales professionals about business storytelling. After they've heard the first two lines of what they're about to receive, the third line could be something like this. You're about to learn how to use the seven steps yourself to create stories that can double or even triple your number of prospective new clients. How can I say this? Because our next speaker has worked with salespeople on four different continents to help them do just that. What do these next two lines say? Number one, it still focuses on the audience. What's the benefit they'll get? An additional benefit. They may double or triple their number of new prospective clients. That's huge. That's what salespeople want. Then transition to my credibility. I've helped salespeople on four different continents do this. The key to that line is that I've helped salespeople on four continents. Not just anybody, not accountants, not CEOs, but salespeople who have the same objective as the people sitting in front of me. So even though I mentioned in there, it's still focused on the audience and a relatable benefit that others have received. And once they've heard that benefit, I can add one more line to add to my credibility, something like this. Michael Davis is the author of the book on storytelling in the Kindle series, Sell More with Stories. He is highly sought all over the country by people to help them with their presentation and business storytelling skills. That's all people need to hear. They need to know exactly the benefit they're about to receive, quantified in a certain number of steps or keys or tools, how I've helped other people like them accomplish a specific goal like double or tripling their number of prospective clients, and then a little bit more credibility. I'm an author and speaker and people around the country seek me out. That's all they need to hear. In the next tip, you'll hear how to close out your introduction to set the audience up to want to hear the first words of your speech. See you then.